much. Thank you for tuning in to another episode of uh, So Good Gardening. I appreciate you. Thank you very much for taking your time out your day to watch my, my episodes. I'm trying to keep them as entertaining as possible. Me and my boy Charlie, who is jumping in my soul. Literally, jumping in my soul. But okay. Um, you saw my, first, my previous episode where I was killing the, uh, the raised bed and giving it some time to, to recover. <laughs> Let me show you here. I got it covered up with a tarp now. So, I'm going to give that all the time it needs, or at least enough time, I think, for all of that soil to mend together that I mixed in there. Put some, some uh, black cow, some coffee grounds, some peat moss, and what else did I put in there? All kind of goodies. Oh, a little bit of my potting mix or raised bed mix that I had left over. And now it's time to do some operating on this bed here. And I want to pull these cabbage out of here. And I said I was going to chunk it, y'all. But it's just hard for me to throw away food. This red cabbage here, here, and here. <sighs> I can't do it. I was trying to just throw it away. This stuff here, this broccoli, it's not going to work with me. It's been in the ground way too long and it's time for it to go. So I'm going to pull this on up. It just didn't cooperate with me at all. I'll try again. I'm not going to give up on broccoli. I love to eat it too much. So it's got to go. And with this red cabbage, it looks so pretty. I mean, look at it. Would you look at it? Look at that. It's probably the same size it was as I bought it, but I can't give up on it. So it's just hard. So what I'm gonna do? Go into the pot shop. I don't throw these things away when I pot plants either. Indoor house plants, whatever. My wife's like, "That's trash. Get rid of it." I'm like, no, that is gold, black gold, literally. So I'm gonna recycle these, put this potting mix in there. And I got a little bit of seed start, starting mix, which is mostly uh, coconut core and peat moss, just to break some of this soil up. Cause it's, it's so heavy and compacted and wet. I didn't want it to, uh, I don't want it to just rot out the roots. So. I'm going to break it up a little bit with this. I got another bag. So give it better drainage. Okay. Get that over there. Let me get this mixed up. Oh, gosh. I'm doing it again. Put my gloves. Y'all tell me. Whenever you see me, Calvin, you ain't got your gloves on, man. You know how your wife do? I wear shirts to cover up the bruises. Now I'm playing. <laughs> she don't hurt me, y'all. She love me too much. Okay. All right. So let's get this all mixed up. I gotta protect my ring. Come on. Loves me. She put a big investment in that thing. But I love her more. Her ring's bigger. Huh? All right. That looks pretty good to me. What y'all think? That looks pretty good to you. I think I grew in that. All right. So I'm just gonna fill these pots up real quick. I always love that, uh, whatever I'm counting. I always think about that episode of, of that, uh, the Nutty Professor. He's like, <laughs> 97, 98, 99, 100. It's <laughs> so stupid. But anytime I'm counting. All right, y'all. Let's get this up here. Going in deep. Here we go. They're probably even that deep. 
I wish I had me some more of my secret weapon. My sardines, but I'm out right now. So we're just gonna put it in the in the pot. Let it do what it do. Hopefully it produces. It gives me something to eat. I make some coleslaw out of that thing or something. I just couldn't throw it away. It's too pretty. Now move it over there to the porch. See all that? And the rest of my little greens. That cabbage over there. And that little mixing. A concrete mixer. And my lettuce. Ooh -wee. That stuff is delicious. Okay. It's doing better than some of the raised beds. But I got sardines all in the bottom of that stuff. That sardine thing works, y'all. Believe you me. It's a game changer. I don't need much. One can, if I had some more cans, I, I split it. I do half the can in this one, half the can in that one. That's all you need. Them things take off. I do have some, some of Lady Linda's 511. And I'm gonna uh, water her down with that. Okay. I think it'll make it. What do y'all think? Okay. Let's get the next two up. down on it, come on in. get down on it, cause I really want it, yeah, have to throw it back to the old school sometime, y'all, that brown liquor music, yeah, my kids don't know nothing about that, but my parents do, I remember them getting ready, going to the club, leaving me home all early, young, with a babysitter, what is that, man? Come on. It's tripping. I ain't have no Nintendo or nothing, no HBO. Man, come on. Watch TV until it went off. Y'all ever do that? When that American flag get to flying and they, that jet fly by? Y'all don't remember them days, don't you? Y'all don't remember them days. Man, young bucks. You ain't ever watch TV until TV went off. Long time ago. It was cable. Man, please. You better take and uh, get you that hanger and put it in the back of that thing. Put the aluminum foil on the tips. Y'all don't know nothing about that. Look at it. Show my age. All right. Third one is done. over there. I know. Y'all Charlie eating my cow my collards. Ain't that about nothing. I look up and see a nub left. I did leave the basket though. Cause it's the same day, but just a different episode. And I left the basket over there. And look. He done chewed it down. I guess they are good. Okay. They small but they good. Oh all right. Mm. Now, that's for this stuff. <sighs> Get y'all up here where you can see what's going on. Let me make sure y'all can see that. <laughs> Those Brussels sprouts right there. Those one, two, three, four. Got to go. Takes forever to get Brussels sprouts. I like them, but I ain't patient enough to wait on them to grow, so they gotta go. Learn from my loss. I don't take it as a loss, I take it as a lesson. Brussels sprouts ain't my thing. Get out of here. Let's 
sometimes, even though I don't like to waste food. You gotta learn when to move on. As in everything in life. If it wasn't meant to be, move on from it. that we pulled up earlier that's sitting right here is going back in that space I'm not giving up on that kill I like it too much that stuff is delicious sardines in water and y'all all you would do is pull that back drop you a couple of them sardines in there and cover it up a little bit so the roots are not touching it directly and you throw that right on top of it and it takes off just like this did just like that one did it's got a sardine or two up under it and that was just a seed i didn't even that wasn't even a start so you see how this stuff is y'all see that See how these mustard greens are doing. And that was from a seed though. One seed, not a start. Let me grab my kale. Here comes the attack dog. All you hear is him growling. Ain't big enough to bite a biscuit. Boy, he's square up and down. He's tearing you alive. Tearing you up. Okay, pulling all the yellow off the bottom. That one's starting to yellow. I don't want anything yellow. We're gonna give this thing a fresh start. See that? Got a new growth in there. I'm not gonna give up on it, y'all. energy and that's good enough nothing like a day off in the garden is it nothing like it y'all So relax. Then I'd say what tranquil. So tranquil. Using big words and stuff. Wish it wouldn't rain. Well, if I could sing, boy, y'all wouldn't stop me. Ooh wee. I'd be known as a singing gardener. Rain, rain. But I can't do it. I ain't gonna put y'all through that pain. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Not gonna do it. They be like, turn it down. Who's, where's the remote? Turn it down. This boy trying to sing. Me, 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 me. I'd be busting notes all the time. Mm. Okay. That's in there. I'm going to get it watered in. I'll cut that up. Look at Look at Dude, look at him. What is he doing? The fish is gone, man. It used to be there. It didn't work on that one. It's gone. But he's trying to find it. Boy, he is trying to find it. All right. All right. Let me get that sage out of there. I'm going to put some black cow 
and some peat moss in this one too. Look, he upside down, y'all. Do y'all see this? <laughs> wow. Okay. I'm gonna put some peat moss and some sage. Pull that sage up out of there. Pull the oregano. What did I say that was? I think it's oregano, yeah. Get that out of there. I'm gonna let this part of the bed rest for some of my starts. I'm gonna put some uh some squash or something like that over here. See what's going on. I'll probably put that somewhere else in the yard, let it just take off naturally. breaking that down I can't remember the name of it it's that natural fungus it's got a little red worm in there y'all see that so this one's doing better my cabbage just didn't do well so. alright y'all move it move it nope move it Time move it. All right, y'all, I'm back. And I apologize about the video with the little bell with Charlie. But if I don't have that bell on him, you gotta understand, I'm 6'3, 225 pounds, and he's like three pounds. So if I don't hear that bell, I'll crunch him. If I step down, it's over. No more Charlie. So forgive me for the bell throughout the video but I have to know where he is at all times okay but I'm done with the video now and I'm sorry you got cut off but I just want to put another ending on this thing um, this is the finished results of me doing the redoing the bed and you see I got my black cow mixed in there I put my uh, pelletized granules of the um, the soil the um, fertilizer and moved everything over got it all watered in and let's see what it does this time y'all give it another shot okay but this bed is just getting prepared for something later on okay my seeds that's starting upstairs that i'll be bringing down and getting this bed sooner than later all right but as always i do thank y'all so much so so much for watching and taking the time out your day to watch my video means more than you'll ever know okay and for those of you have all, who have already subscribed thank you so much for that um, I try to resubscribe to your channel if you have one up and going uh, just leave me a comment I'll definitely look into yours and we'll go back and forth and so into each other's life okay and remember me being the so good gardener I always have to leave you something to sow right so today it's about sowing some forgiveness. So forgiveness in somebody's life. Call somebody that did you wrong and forgive them. And the forgiveness is not for the other person. It's for you. It's going to make you feel better. And when you forgive, forget about it as well. And if they really did you wrong and you can't, you don't want to deal with them anymore, forgive and forget and move on. But you'll feel better. And you'll do better in life. Okay? Because you won't have that that just anger in your heart at all times. Yeah, sorry about this win, but I always like to uh, try to get something out there positive so we can have better lives. Okay? Thank you so much for tuning in and more videos to come. The trees are next. I got things in pots. I got things in raised beds. I got 
stuff in the front yard, backyard, side yards, inside the house. Stuff is coming, okay? So more videos to come. And thank you so much for tuning in. Y'all have a great day. God bless. Thank you.